We're going to talk a little bit about the comprehensive scan on, uh, in this training here. And this is module three of, of the scanner. Comprehensive is an amazing uh, program with so much information it can give you. And if you do it correctly, the information that it gives you will be absolutely timeless. So let me go through that. So go to your main, your main screen and comprehensive about halfway down and up will come this screen here that you see that you have four options. Before we go through those four options, let's talk a little bit about the little round blue button with the question mark up at the top right corner. If you click that, it's going to give you information that I'm going to tell you now. But where this information is good is when you're sending uh, this out to somebody that's got an Alpha 3 pass or that's going to be doing it without any of this training. This gives them basic information and instructions on how to run it. But what's really good is there's a video at the bottom. And this video is only about two, three minutes long, and it just makes it easy. So if you can get people to go and read this, including yourselves, and see that video, it's going to make your presentation of this to either your clients or to someone who is a potential scan uh, purchaser. This is going to be really helpful for them. All right, so now that you've seen that, you can close it out. Now we're back to our four buttons. You have inner voice, vitals, combined, and then custom. So here's a little bit of, um, get rid of some confusion here. If I click inner voice, it's not gonna do an inner voice scan for me. What it's going to do is go back and look at my last inner voice, and from the data from that inner voice, it will then populate the things that it needs to scan in the comprehensive section. Okay, if I hit vitals, it'll do the same thing. It'll go back to my last vitals, find those frequencies that were out of range, and then populate the things that need to be scanned in the comprehensive based on that last scan. So this is really important that you understand how this populates because let's say that you do an easy scan or a quick scan. Vitals Comprehensive and quick scan all draw from the same database. That big database, that's where they go for their information. If I do a full inner voice, I'm going to get a full scan of my voice, which is going to present more information in this section for in comprehensive to draw from. So I hope that makes sense. When you have time to do this, it's really best to sit down, take four minutes, two, three minutes, do an inner voice, do a, a vitals, and then come in and do a comprehensive. At least once a week, do that. Do the whole thing. See, get a really good picture of yourself. But again, these things are drawing from the database based on your last scan. So when you're coming in to do a comprehensive, it's best to have done an inner voice and a vitals. And then you would come in and hit combined. So now why would you separate those out? Well, let's say that... Right now, I've got some type of a bug going on in my system. I'm not feeling, I've maybe got a cold or a flu or just not feeling up speed. I just want to do a vitals, find out what's up. Now I can do my vitals, come and hit vitals, and it's only going to look at the comprehensive uh, database based on the vitals. Or maybe I'm having a rough morning or I've had a rough afternoon emotionally, and I just want to see how my emotions are affecting me physically. Those are the times when you just do an inner voice or just a vitals. But most of the time, you're going to want to do both of those right before you go to comprehensive. So do your voice, do your vitals, optimize both, and then come in and hit combined. That way, it's going to give everything from those areas, your voice and your vitals, and give you a really good scan uh, for your um, comprehensive. So just so you understand, when you have done the, the vitals and the voice or any combination of those, and it pulls up, you hit combined, there's a lot of empty boxes. There's only certain boxes that have been checked. That's because those were the only things that were um, completely out of range that the uh, database pulled into this scan. But you can go in and check more of those if you'd like. I said, well, you know, it didn't check my... My head, I want to check my arteries up there. You can. It's just that didn't come up in the first two scans. So if you really want just a pure 
look at how vi uh, Intervoice or Vitals is affecting you, you would just leave it at that. But you're not locked into that. Feel free to add to that or take away from that as you choose. That is just there to help you draw the information right away. Now, below those three buttons, you have another button called Custom Scan. Now, this one is really awesome. Let's say that you just uh, you just tripped and you banged your knee or you, you twisted your ankle and you just want to see how much is how much uh, damage has been done. You could open up Custom Scan and just go down and scroll. Okay, left ankle, ligaments, muscles, and, and bones of the left leg. You just want to see just that. Um, that's what Custom Scan is for. And so, or or you want to scan everything in that in the in the comprehensive. The only way you can do that is to go through and hit custom scan and select where everything has been selected. That's going to take the most time. That's going to probably take closer to 15 or 20 minutes to scan. And you don't need to do that very often. So I would hit deselect and then just go in and just hit the things that you want to check in that custom scan. Okay, so I hope that makes a little bit of sense for you. Um, now let's delve into or uh, dive into that scan a little bit more. So let's say in this case, we're going to do a combine. So I've done my inner voice and I've done my vitals and I hit combine. That's going to come through and populate the scan. And as you can see here from the last two scans I did, it's looking for the arteries in the head, a few of my chromosomes, it's going down looking at my eyes and my ears, not my ears, but my eyes and my heart. And it's going through and it selected the things that were most out of range in the voice and in the vitals. And then I would hit scan. Now I've already done this scan, so I won't do that. But when the scan is done, I would then go in and hit optimize and then I would select my reports. Now, if you have completed your um, phases one, two, and three, and you actually have the database available to you, you can click on database and it will show you in detail how some of those numbers came together in your report. But if you don't, you're just going to click on report. That'll be the only button available to you. When you have your report, you'll have, it'll always default to the, to the graphic image. But if you look at the top of your page, it has a table report and an image report and it defaults to the image. If I click on table, it'll show it to you more like what you're used to seeing in your vitals, okay? The numbers on your right are your, um, the scanned one numbers and the ones to the left will be your optimized numbers. If I go back to image report, it's the same if you look in the boxes, the, the box on the right of each item is your scanned one. The number in the, to the left of it is your optimized number. And so as far as um, the numbering, it's still the same. One to nine, four, five, and six is where you want to be. And then just look on your report and here's where you can go in and see this. Now, here's another feature that's really, really awesome. If you look on here, it says heart interior cut. And there's a little box with a figure in it. Okay. Not all of them have those. Let me see if I have some that, see organs, mitochondria, that box doesn't exist. But on any of these that, where the box has that box with the figure, if you click on that, it will then bring up a 3D look at that part. And you can actually rotate it around. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, and you can actually see in three-dimensional space where that particular thing is you're looking. And you can just keep zooming in and see that. This is a really great feature when you're trying to explain to yourself or to others where this is in your body. So the 3D look is just is really amazing. In fact, it really helped me when, I'm, when I was work, working with the scanner and the development of being able to visualize where everything was in my body. And to be able to show that to people, it just, it the light goes on and also they say, okay, that makes sense. Uh, that's why I have this, this pain here or whatever. Uh, the other thing I wanna point out to you is in your little blue box, there, there will be a percentage from um, ideal. And that number, now the lower that number is, the better. 
the higher the number means you're that far away from being in an ideal condition. So when you see a high number, that's not great. You want to see a lower number. Okay, so that's what that means. That just means how much improvement there was. There was a uh, a 29% improvement or a 33% improvement or whatever that number is. So these are really good references. But again, you need to email these so that you've got them that you can go back and so you can compare over time. If you are one of those that has the database, the database, uh, there's a whole other set of training on database. That takes you down that rabbit hole even further, helping you understand how much more uh, information that you can find on why you have a specific imbalance in frequencies. Uh, it's not necessary, but if you're in this as a, as a business and you really like that information, that database is really amazing. So that is your comprehensive scan. Um, use those features, get in and play with it. Take, you know, take a few hours on a weekend someday and just do a deep dive, do a deep uh, scan, do your inner voice, your vitals, your comprehensive, and really start to learn how the scan works, but also learn how your body is functioning. And, and just to see that, it's so fascinating to see. So until next time.